All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we will make a short video to Dr. Shabir Ali. You know, uh, we know that Shabir Ali was challenged many times, and supposedly one day we set a debate, and if I say he run away, literally, I mean it. But one of you, he sent me today a comment he made in Facebook, and I'm going to show it on the screen. And I could not believe, really, what this guy he just said. Let us see what he said in his comment. This is the comment of Dr. Shabir Ali. Your comment on debating Christian Prince. Salam, peace. I just read through 52 uh, or 85 comments I receive on the questions. I found them all enlightening. Sorry I could not go through the rest of the 85, I think you want to say comment, not moment. Uh, but the general picture, I should not venture to debate CP. This is the general picture. One comment really had me laughing in agreement. And here, notice with me, in agreement. So he agreed with the comment. Okay, what is the comment is? Let us read together. And I will put a line underneath. So he laughed in agreement. What the comment saying? Sayyid Ismail, he said, don't argue with the stupid people because they will drag you down to their level and they and beat you with their experience. I mean, how hilarious is to agree with this comment. Let us say you are trying to insult me, no problem. Let us say you want to say Christian Prince is a stupid, no problem. But you just admit that the one you call him stupid, he can beat you with their experience. How somebody is a stupid, and what kind of experience of a stupid person can beat you? This is how stupid your comment is. Now, as long as you are talking about uh, stupidity, let us see some of the stupidity you teach or you promote or you believe in. And now let us see how you can answer the whole, you know, the whole purpose of saying what you are saying. You're trying to avoid debating me. And all of, all of us, we knew that because you know that this is the end of your career. <clears throat> And by the way, the video for this video is posted in his channel, so he have no excuse. He can call me anytime. He can call me stupid, no problem. But people will be the judge. Let's see who is the stupid. You agree that Christian Prince is a stupid, but you agree he can beat you with experience? That is a stupid of you to agree with. Because you just admitted he will beat you anyway. Even yet he's a stupid. And the one who can be beaten by a stupid, he must be really a bad fool. The stupid, my friend, is somebody believe in this. It's your prophet who order women to hide themselves from a blind man. That is a stupid. When a blind man, he come to visit Muhammad, Muhammad, he order his wives to veil themselves. And they said to him, well, isn't he blind, can neither see us or recognize us? The prophet said, are they both of you blind? And now how you can explain that stupidity? You will say to me, women are not allowed to see men in Islam. So why you put your daughter in TV? Not only you put her in TV, you put her with tens of makeup in her face. Doesn't it Quran forbid Muslim women to expose their beauty? Putting lipstick and a lot of a cream, and yet you claim to be a sheikh? What kind of a shaky sheikh you are? The stupid, my friend, is the one who believe in this that the one who raised his head before the Imam Allah will make his head as a donkey that is the foolish and that's the stupid and I don't think you can beat me neither with your stupidity or with your experience and this is what you fear because your stupidity cannot work with us and your experience which is funny experience of answering nothing does not work with us this is why you avoid debating me can you go in TV and explain to your prophet what your prophet here is saying? 
Ah, you will tell me, oh, the prophet here is trying to scare the Muslims so they will follow and obey because they are a bunch of ignorant and they believe blindly whatever he say. So now nobody dare to put his head up. Well, obviously, the one who says such a statement to his followers, obviously, he believed they are donkeys, literally. Otherwise, how he say such a thing? My friend, the stupid is the one who believe in this. That the one who kill a lizard from the first hit Allah will give him extra reward if you kill it from the second hit Allah will give you less reward and the one who kill it from the third hit Allah will give him less 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 reward and why because the silly you prophet believe that the lizard he tried to kill Abraham by blowing wind at the fire that is a stupid my friend the stupid is the one who believe in this that a man, his name is Muhammad. The Muslim call him Rasulullah. He was observing a rat, and he noticed rat rats don't drink she camel, and he noticed that Jews don't drink she camel. So he come with the conclusion that because rats and Jews don't drink she camel, obviously both of them they are Jews, and those rats, Allah, he cursed them and he made them rats. They used to be Jews. That is the stupid. And the stupid is the one who believe in this. And if you say I don't believe in this, that's mean you're admitting that your prophet himself is a stupid. Otherwise, you, you don't believe in it. I know, I know. You will say this is going to be true. It's Sahih Bukhari. Hmm? The stupid, my friend, is the one who believe that the sun sit in the murky water. You will tell your uh, fan uh it appeared that the sun set in murky water in the quran in chapter 18 but the fact this is not what the quran is saying and your prophet he get you busted he said that the sun set in a spring of murky water who is the stupid my friend the stupid is the one in chapter 41 versus the chapter 79 he do not remember which one he created first mountains water sunlight or vice versa that is a stupid that is called Allah the stupid my friend is the one who make a video talking about the Saudi girl who left Saudi Arabia and your daughter with a lot of makeup in her face asking you what is the Guardian coming from you say Guardian is coming from the culture when Islam came on the scene, uh, not everything could be changed uh, automatically. A lot of this has to do with... ...would need that guardian to do things for her. It could be her son uh, who would have to um, seek permission for her. Um, so the question is, where does that come from? Where does that guardianship system come from? Uh, is it the Quran? Or where is it? A lot of this has to do with uh, the cultural background of uh, 7th century Arabia before Islam came on the scene. Uh, but when Islam came on the scene, uh, not everything could be changed uh, automatically. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So Islam wanted to change that. Let me show everybody that you are an official fool. Not I don't want to word you're, you're stupid because stupid doesn't fit with you. Isn't it? This is your Quran. Saying that men are guardian of women, you idiot. And yet you claim that you are a sheikh and you grow a beard. To make living out of it so when they say to you in the comment that the christian prince he will beat you with experience well we have to agree but christian prince beat you by his foolishness that would be stupid of you to agree with it because the foolish is the one who teach something against islamic claiming either there's one of two ways either you know you are lying and practicing taqiyya or muslims they have to question you how dare you to say that the guardian of the man for the women is not Islamic, it's from pre-Islam. Isn't it Allah who said men are in charge of women? Because Allah has made them one of, uh, elevate them above each other. Isn't it the Quran says that even you can beat them, not only you are a guardian, you are a guardian to the point you can beat them. You can jail them in their rooms. Why you are lying? We can show you tons of reference from the hadith, from the Quran. You can go right now and search and go Google where the guardian came from. You will see not even a single Muslim sheikh he say that this is not Islamic.
we know why you are running from DP to me and yet you call me <laughs> a fool <laughs> Oh, you know, each time, each time a Muslim, uh, he says something. He make me laugh, and what make you laugh more, when the Muslim they support that Muslim, like supposedly he is now in defend mood, like why he cannot debate Christian Prince. So he like the idea of that guy who said, "Well, you cannot, you cannot argue with the fool." Do you know how your prophet he argue with the fool? Let me show you. Just for a laugh. When the fool, the supposedly the Christians, they came to your prophet and they challenged him for a debate. Do you know what he said? Let everybody see who is the fool. He said, Those who come to debate you after today, who are the Christians, supposedly, concerning Jesus. This is about Jesus say to them come come hmm? come come we will summon our son and your son our women and your women ourself and yourself and let us ask Allah to curse the one who is lying that is the debate of fools so why you don't follow it if you are really convinced that this is the way to debate why you don't do what your prophet he said your prophet never said you take a book of somebody he is an atheist to fight Christianity he said to them this is how you debate Christians bring your children I bring my children bring your women I bring my women bring your wife I bring my wives what does this have to do with debate anyway because the one you are following is a fool if you don't like this translation by the way Shabir Ali we can change it for you this is a debate this is a debate of a bunch of fools because if somebody he is a liar anyway and by the way if somebody he is a Hindu and I am debating him about his religion he is not lying I mean it's a stupid statement it, he believe in that a, a person who believe in something he is not lying if I debate a Muslim who believe that Muhammad he is not lying lying is about you know the truth and you say something different a Muslim he do not know the truth if the truth is Jesus he believe in Muhammad he's not lying he believe in a lie but he is not lying and here is showing us that the fool is your God the fool my friend is somebody believe that God will give you an endless penis or women who they have no panties or women who they will be see-through through the marrow of their bones or boys who will serve you in heaven child abuse that is the fool so I am really surprised that you like this idea about don't argue with the fool when you are the fool yourself it is you the fool who keeps speaking about the miracle of number 19 but yet you cannot read the verse for us yet you cannot count the words for us yet you cannot show them and I challenge you to make a video and count the words one by one to prove to us that the 57 words whatever you say people are dying laughing at you it's foolish of you to speak about something proving to be wrong but as we see you are a person who believe in this so who is the fool hmm I don't want to make the video long but obviously somebody believe in such a garbage my friend he cannot speak about being intelligent accusing others to be fool you are not a smart person if you are how you can believe in this and by the way this is Sahih al-Bukhari because I know you will say to them this is not true but because your prophet is obsessed and he is a racist he promised the men that they would have women they are so white to the point we can see the marrow of their bones which is very disgusting the one who believe in this dr shabir ali and i don't know who made you a doctor he cannot be smart 
I guarantee you he is a fool and that is you exactly I hope you don't uh, get upset and excuse my English is not good like yours but yet you cannot answer me you cannot refute me and the Quran speak about the Guardian the Quran says clearly the women are maintained by men maintained Guardian and when you lie at least go and do some you know I mean training learn from your prophet <laughs> Quran doesn't say that I mean each time I see any video of you I really love you know I learned that Muslims always avoid career ending the second they see somebody speak Arabic they get away from him because how they can make more curry of you if you speak Arabic we cannot how we can lie to you and says that this is not in the Quran if you have knowledge men are protectors and maintainers and then what we scourge them and we beat them and here in this translation you will see that add the word first and next because they corrupt the Quran and they add even the word lightly beat her lightly my friend in America if somebody beat a dog lightly he go to jail and nowhere in the Quran it says beat her lightly in fact you're a prophet he took a side of a man who did beat his wife until her skin became a greener than her clothes in fact that the fool is the one who don't believe what Aisha said that Aisha said I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman Aisha she is witnessing to every fool that no women suffer as much as a Muslim woman and Aisha continues saying look her skin is a greener than her clothing and what Muhammad he did read the whole story he took the side of the man which he beat his wife and he never asked him why you beat her Umar al-Khattab he said a man should not be questioned for beating his wife shall not be questioned nobody can ask him and your prophet did the same Aisha she just told him look the man that beat the hell of her and then Muhammad he forced the women to be raped by this husband because all the story here this woman she didn't want to sleep with this man even though here has you know he is her husband Muhammad he said to her well you know what you need to know that you cannot go back to your previous husband because the fool Muhammad he made a rule that in order to a man if he divorced his wife three times she the women who is the victim of divorce she have to go and have intercourse with the new husband so she can go to the previous husband and Muhammad he said you cannot go back to him unless you taste his juice and he tastes your juice that is not only speak of a speech of a fool that is a speech of a savage man savage man You cannot go back until he taste your taste your juice. We go to the dictionary and search for the word asila. Asila mean orgasm. That is the fool, my friend. So enough with full stuff for today. Please download the video, share it with your friends in Facebook, and don't forget to invite Shabir Ali to call me. If really don't feel, I mean, if he if a Christian is a fool anyway. I mean, why are you afraid? Ah, I forgot. Uh, uh, you admit it that a fool he can beat you with experience mm, experience did you experience that before a fool yet he can beat you with your experience how foolish of you to believe that a fool can beat you and what experience a fool he have he's a fool he's a fool people will laugh at him whatever he say as we are laughing at you, Mr. Shabir Ali.
thank you guys for watching don't forget to download the video the video and share it with your friends and don't forget to to beat them with your experience and supposedly we are the fool not them who believe in endless penis or one mile ass or a penis will never sleep or a market have magazine of men and women and you choose any picture and jump in it and have sex with it it is us we are the fool it's not them the fool who believe that and are touching a black stone will erase our sin no 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 it's not them who believe that the stone is going to have eyes is going to have a tongue and is going to witness in judgment day it's us it's us we are the fool or imagine a prophet he speak about a beast will come from the ground and will have the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon and he will make every believer white shiny white redneck and the one who don't believe like me Allah will make him black this is not a fool this is not only fool this is stupid and silly and racist download the video share it with your friends and I will see you soon. I will be live in a few hours ago. I'm from sorry from now. And uh, our topic is about Allah was not sent to the Indonesian for sure. I mean, sorry, Muhammad. So the video we will be, I think it's 11 30 p.m. today in New York time. So if you like to join us, feel free if you are still up and you are not asleep. And I made it this time so people from Indonesia they can join us. Christ is Lord, Islam made by a fool for the fool and we prove it every day and if we are wrong be the smart prove us that we are the fool do it we are waiting for you with no patient thank you expose the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this God and tough mean to be bold to say it as it is not as they want not politically correct being politically, politically correct is an illness is a weakness is somebody he is hiding something even forced to say something so if you are a Christian say things as it is yes we love the Muslims but doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims is not the opposite So when somebody he says to you, uh, that you are speaking rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it rude for sure. 